Hi everyone! Welcome to our learning activity video on Solutions to Senior High School General Mathematics, Quarter 1, Week 6, D. And this is your teacher, Marichu. For the objective of this learning activity video, we have the learners represent an exponential function through its A, table of values, B, graph, and C, equation. And we have to find the domain and range of an exponential function, determine the intercepts, zeros, and asymptotes of an exponential function. So let's start. Exercise 1. Sketch the graph of an exponential function f of x equals 1 third raised to x. For the solution, step 1. Construct a table of values for the given function f of x equals 1 third raised to x. The table of values for this particular function is as follows. We have here x, the rows for x assigned arbitrarily. So let's start with x equals negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, and so on up to x equals 3. And we have to substitute x equals negative 3 to f of x. So it becomes f of 1 third raised to negative 3. And that is 27. f of negative 2 is equal to 1 third raised to negative 2. And this is actually equal to 3 squared or 9. If x is negative 1, we have 1 third raised to negative 1. That is equal to 3 raised to 1. So we have here a negative exponent. We have to make it positive. How to make it positive? We have to reverse or take the reciprocal of 1 third. So it's 3 raised to positive 1 or simply 3. Any expression raised to 0 exponent is 1. So f of 0 equals 1. f of 1 or the function at x equals 1 equals 1 third raised to 1 or simply 1 third. f of 2, 1 third raised to 2, that is 1 9 f of 3 is 1 over 27. So these are the table of values for the function f of x equals 1 third of x. Now we have to plot the points found in the table. So this is the table previously discussed and this is the graph. So if x is equal to negative 3 here, so we have the counterpart is 27. It's up there. If x is negative 2, then we have y equals or simply f of x equals 9. If x is negative 1, we have 3. Now we have x equals 0, y equals 1. And 1, we have 1 third here for the y. If x is 2, we have 1 over 9. If x is 3, 1 over 27 and so on and so forth. Now for the domain, as you can see in the graph, all values of x have their corresponding point in the graph of this function f of x equals 1 third raised to x. So that means that the domain of this function is the set of all real numbers. For the range, it is the set of all positive real numbers. That means there is no part of the graph that is below the x-axis here or the negative y-axis. So there's none. So that means that the range is the set of all positive real numbers. For the y-intercept, we have to set x equals 0. Or what is y if x is 0? Then we have 1. And as we can see in this graph, at x equals 0, we have y equals 1. The y-intercept is the point at which the graph touches the y-axis. So that is the y-intercept. For the x-intercept, there's none. There is no way or there's no point that this graph of the f of x will touch the x-axis. For the horizontal asymptote, y equals 0. This is the domain, the range, and 
the other attributes of the function f of x equals one third of x. We move on to the next exercise, number two. Sketch the graph of an exponential function f of x equals one third raised to x and g of x equals one fifth raised to x. Again, similarly, we have to construct a table of values. So we have it here, the same values for x as the previous graph. And f of x is one-third raised to x. We have those, these values as discussed earlier in the first exercise. And now g of x equals one-fifth raised to x. So we have it here. g of negative 3 is... 1 fifth raised to negative 3. So we make positive 3 as exponent. We take the reciprocal that's 5 here raised to 3 or 125. Then 5 raised to 2 is 25. 5 raised to 1 is 5. G of 0 is 1. G of 1, 1 fifth. G of 2 is 1 over 25, and G of 3 is 1 over 125. For the graph, we have here the red colored graph is the function f of x, so we discussed it earlier. And this one, the G of x, we plot the values. If x is negative 3, then we have 125. So here is x negative 3. And the counterpart up there is of the blue graph is 125. If x is negative 2, then the counterpart is 25. Still up there. If x is equal to negative 1, then we have the counterpart is y equals 5. For x equals 0, this graph both f of x and g of x meet at the point zero one they have the same value here at x equals zero if x equals one g of one is one fifth if x equals two just take note of the blue colored point g of two is one over twenty five and g of three is one over one hundred twenty five now, for the domain and other attributes, we have it here. Still, the domain is a set of all real numbers. And as you can see, the range is a set of all positive real numbers. Y-intercept, 1. X-intercept, there's none. And horizontal asymptote, Y, equals 0. That solves exercise number 2. We move on to enrichment activity. In the coordinate plane, sketch the graph of the given exponential functions f of x equals 1 over 6 raised to x, g of x equals 1 over 7 raised to x, and h of x equals 1 eighth raised to x. Again, we have to construct the table of values for the given functions f of x, g of x, and h of x. Let's try x. Ranges from negative 2 up to 2, both or all are integers. So let's start with f of negative 2. f of negative 2, this is 1 over 6 raised to negative 2. That means we have 6 squared, 36. Then we have g of negative 2, we have 7 squared, 49. Then h of negative 2, we have 8 squared. 64. For x equals negative 1, we have f of negative 1, that is 6 raised to 1, 6. g of negative 1, 7 raised to 1, we have 7. And h of negative 1, 8 raised to 1, we have 8. Then we have x equals 0, f of 0 is 1, g of 0 is also 1. And h of 0 is also equal to 1. f of 1 is 1 6. g of 1 equals 1 7. h of 1 is 1 8. If x is 2, we have f of 2 is 1 over 36. g of 2 is 1 over 49. 
and h of 2 equals 1 over 64. For the graph, we have it here. So the red colored graph is for f of x, the black one is for g of x, and then we have h of x. So these are the table of values. So take a look at the three graphs in one coordinate plane. They intersect at the point 0, 1. Because all of this table of values for f, functions f, g, and h, they have one value for y at x equals 0, which is y equals 1. So this is the graph. Let's take a look at the salient points here. At x equals negative 2, f of negative 2 is 36 up there. So what about f of negative 1 here? There is f of negative 1 is 6. And then we have f of 0 is 1 here. Then f of 1 is 1 6. f of 2 is 1 over 36. Let's go to g of x. G of, let's, let me start with g of negative 1 is 7 here, right here. Now we have g of 0 is 1 and so on. So this is the graph of the three exponential functions. What about their domain, range, and so on? They have the same. The domain is the set of all real numbers, as you can see in the graph. Then the range, all positive real numbers. For the intercept, the three graphs touches the y-axis at the point zero, 1. In x-intercept, there's none. And the horizontal asymptote y equals 0. And this is all for this learning activity video on quarter 1, week 6. D. This is your teacher Marichu saying always stay happy, healthy, and safe. Thank you and God bless.